Welcome to DIY Computer Repairs. In this video, we are going to show you how to format your computer and install a fresh Windows XP in replace of a corrupted or a damaged Windows. First, before you begin, you need to know that your Windows XP disk is a real Windows XP installation disk and not a recovery disk or something that you do not know why it is it. In order to differentiate, it's very simple. Simply uh, insert the disk into any functioning computer with a Windows in it. If the auto run starts up and you can see those screens that say that you can install Welcome to Windows Setup, it means that you have a functioning Windows XP installation disk. But if you do not have that screen and show something else like Welcome to HP recovery or something like that, it means that you do not have that installation disk and you have to get one. Once you are sure that you have that Windows installation CD, you need to set your BIOS to boot off the CD. You will need to enter the BIOS setup the moment you start your computer, just at the time when you see the logo by pressing a special key. Some use the delete key, some maybe F11, F12. You need to check the manual for instruction or Google search to see which key you need to hit before you can enter the setup screen, which is blue in color. Exactly what you will see, something like this now. The setting of your BIOS is different with each and different individual motherboard. So you need to get to a screen that looks something like this. Go to the boot device settings, usually we need the second menu and switch the boot priority to CD room. Then save settings and exit. Have the disk inside the drive and reboot. The installation will start off by itself. Prompt says press any key to boot. So you hit any key, enter or spacebar or any letters, alphabets or numbers on the keyboard. Do not press F2 because you are installing. The automated system recovery doesn't work anyway. Chances are if you need to format a Windows, you will have a higher service pack than what you already have in the disk. So the automated recovery will not be compatible and thus won't be able to override anything. A lot of people that I've seen, they do not know what to do whenever they see letters in blue screens or all that. Just take a while and slowly read. It's just simple plain English. Read through the three options. It says to set up Windows, press Enter. To repair, press R. Or to quit, F3. So in other words, we will set press Enter because we intend to set up Windows right now. The user license agreement, if you look at the bottom, it says F8 to agree or escape to I do not agree. So in other words, we will just press F8. And you will see that you have an uh, existing Windows here. So we wish to delete this Microsoft Windows XP, the one that has crashed or corrupted. So you will press escape because we intend to install a fresh copy of Windows. You will see that there is a C drive here. So this is your old Windows which you do not want. Again, you look at the options it says to create, press C to set up, press enter, or to delete, press D. Since we intend to delete and remove the current existing Windows, the option to choose will be press D. If you press C, nothing will happen actually. If you press enter, it may not be perfect because there's existing old files inside. So we'll press D to delete the selected partition. If you read now, it says to delete, press enter, or to go back. So this is just a confirmation in case you do not intend to delete. So now it says press L to proceed to the deletion or escape to go back. So you are very sure, so you press L. Now you see that there's no more C drive except for one unpartitioned space. 
So we need to either create or hit enter. Hit enter, you will just carry on with the installation without any asking you any more questions. But if you press C, it will allow you to define the space, how much, how big you want for these windows. So I press C and you can see that you can actually change the size of how much you want to use in your entire hard disk. If you set it to a lower value, you, this will allow you to create another extra drive later. If you do not intend to create an extra space, just hit enter. So now back to the same screen, but you have a C drive now. So we hit enter to set up Windows XP on the selected partition. Formatting, choose between quick or slow. Two different partitions, NTFS or FAT. I recommend NTFS because it's the new standard in partition technology that allows you to store one single file greater than 4 gig. FAT32 can only store a single file up to 2 gig. So we use the quick formatting. Once the formatting is done, the installation will carry on on its own. First, you'll begin to copy the files. It'll take a while, depending on how fast your computer is. Now it will reboot before it proceeds with the actual installation. You can either wait for it or you can just hit enter if you don't want to wait. Either way it will still reboot. 